programmed to what? Hate one another. None of us would be here were it not for a contribution from father and contribution from mother. But the social dynamic can make us hate each other. Hate ourselves and hate each other until we have thoroughly gone into total genocide. Because genocide is just the opposite face of white supremacy. If I'm afraid that somebody else's genetics will overpower me, then my brain computer will simply work out logical solutions leading right up to genocide. So we have to reflect on this, reflect on this. Well, Dr. Wilson, what do you suggest that we do? I suggest that we understand we are at war. A war is being waged against us. We have to turn ourselves into very effective soldiers for justice. Not people who are going to waste their energy hating white people. It's not necessary. You don't sit down and play chess and hate, I hate my opponent, I hate. <laughs> Go on the football field, imagine a football player, I hate, I hate the opponent. No. You go in that squad room and study the opponent's plays. You let yourself reflect when they're good so you know what your opposition is. So hate is out. First, we're going to engage in the exercises of black mental health and black self-respect. I call it building a pyramid. The base of the pyramid has to be our mastering self-respect. How do we do that? Neely Fuller, in his textbook for victims of racism, laid out a number of things, and I added some things to it. Stop name-calling one another. <laughs> See, somebody would say, oh, I don't mean nothing by that. No, don't call people out of their names. Call them the name that they wish to be called. White supremacy called us niggers. Read the slave narratives. Every other word, us niggers. The nigger this, the nigger that. That's what white supremacy imposed on us. Stop name calling one another. Stop gossiping about one another. G O S S I P I N G. Oh, I'm about to gossip. Put the telephone down. <laughs> See, this is very important. Because the way you exercise what you think about yourself is how you relate to your reflection. So the brain computer said, there's another black one just like you, Francis. Then how I feel about myself will be reflected in how I relate to another black person. So we are going to engage. See, we do exercises to keep our muscles in shape. Now we're doing exercises to get our brains in shape, in our self-image, in our self-concept, so we can be effective soldiers. Because if I think negatively about myself, do you think my brain computer will work in my behalf to optimize my development and success? No. The brain says, you don't like yourself. Why should I work in your behalf? So stop name calling, stop gossiping, stop squabbling with one another. Stop snitching on one another. Informing to the racist for reasons of personal gain. Stop being discourteous to each other. Stop being disrespectful to each other. Stop cursing one another. 
If we have time, we'll go into our favorite curse, motherfucker, we'll see why we use that. Stop being discourteous, stop being disrespectful, stop stealing from one another, stop robbing one another, stop fighting one another, stop killing one another. Now, what if black people, what if we were walking around and say, you do know the code, don't you? Are you in code? See, if we have to dance, can you do the code? Stop throwing down trash where black people live, work, and play. This is really important. Really important. See, trash, 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 trash is all around us. We are being conditioned to think of ourselves as trash. What do you do with trash? You compact it and then send it to the incinerator. Is that correct? There was a big ad in the Washington Times newspaper, November, Sunday, November the 20th, 1994. A full page ad. That's the conservative newspaper in Washington, D.C. Most black people don't read it. Full page ad, young black man, pants cut off, dark brown skin, Shoes untied. Guess what the full page ad was about? Had in big print, life is precious, pass it on. We need thus and so number of corneas, transplants. We need thus and so number of heart and lungs, thus and so number of livers in the thousands. Do you all understand? I used to say 10 years ago they were going to have us on a spare parts farm. Do you all understand? I'm going to call you all genetically inferior in terms of intelligence, but I can use your liver. I can use your cornea. I can use your heart and lungs. I can use your, do you understand? Fresh. Just shop. Do you all understand? Get in code. Stop fighting one another. Stop killing one another. Stop making believe that white supremacy does not exist. 